There are two ways to do this trick. One, you can keep the ball isolated in space. Or two, you can roll the ball around the umbrella. For ultimate parasol control, you should grip the handle at opposite ends. For version number one, where the ball is isolated in space, you will want the ball to be rolling constantly downhill at the same angle. I like to have the umbrella on the left side of me with the ball rolling on the left. To begin, toss the ball in the air, put your hand back on the handle, and start rotating the umbrella clockwise. You will have to give it some cushioning when you catch it. I would say the umbrella is tilted towards the left 20 degrees. I am rotating the umbrella clockwise, which causes the ball to roll towards me. It's hard to guess how fast I'm turning the handle, but you want to maintain a consistent speed. You can also roll the ball on top of the parasol. All of the same principles apply, except this time, the ball is rolling directly into your face. You can also begin to lift the umbrella over your head requires techniques of feel and looking at the shadow through the umbrella. I'm not going to discuss that here. The second way to do the trick is to move the ball around the umbrella. In order to do this, you have to constantly change the angle of the umbrella. Instead of twirling the umbrella through your fingers, you are going to use a motion that is almost like stirring a spoon. The top part of the handle is moved in a larger circle than the bottom part of the handle. In this tutorial, I'm using a tennis ball. You can also use a ring or a small cube. It's best to find a parasol that is about 32 or 33 inches in diameter. And it's better to find one made of nylon because it's more durable and won't tear like the paper ones. As far as I know, this trick originated in Japan. Have fun, there's some really cool variations you can come up with.